Alright, gonna give you another reason why Bible believing Christians have no reason or any kind of business celebrating Halloween. Why? Because Halloween is a holiday all about witchcraft and paganism and Satanism and demonism and occultism and you name it. I'm gonna show you some scriptures on the subject of witchcraft and why Halloween is forbidden for Christians because it's a holiday of witchcraft and if you know your Bible you know that it condemns witchcraft severely. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 6. And a soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits, and after wizards, to go a-whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul, and will cut him off from among his people. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 27. A man also, or a woman, that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, he shall surely be put to death, they shall stone him with stones, their blood shall be upon them. You know, when you have a familiar spirit, you're going to get that from Halloween, a familiar spirit. It's all about, it, it's basically the Satanist holy day. It's the holy day for witches and Satanists. You're going to get a familiar spirit. And under the Old Testament law, now obviously we're not under the Old Testament law, but just showing what God thinks about witchcraft. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 26. But I was going to say under the Old Testament law, it gets a death penalty for that. I thought I was going to say it, but yeah, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 26. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood, neither shall ye use enchantments or observe times. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 31. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. What's Halloween? You're seeking after wizards. You're going to get defiled by that. And by the way, not just, you know, spiritually, when I go into the, you know, Walmart or whatever you want to go, whatever store, I, I go for my early morning shopping, sometimes at Walmart, uh, some of the Halloween decorations are very, very disgusting and defiling. So my eyes are defiled too when I see that. You can get defiled just by looking at some of these disgusting Halloween decorations. Why? Because when you seek after wizards, you're going to be defiled by them. Halloween is all about witchcraft. You will end up getting defiled. Like my eyes have been, unfortunately, many, many times when I go for my early morning shopping. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 10 to 12. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh a son or a daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a, ch or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. It's an abomination. Halloween is an abomination. Why? It all goes back to witchcraft. Uh, Exodus, Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Now, I'm not advocating we go out and like a, like a Salem witch a Salem witch trial type of thing back in the 1600s where we go out and burn witches at stake. I'm not advocating that, okay? We're not under the Old Testament Mosaic law. This was a law given to Israel under a theocracy. You know, if you're in you know, if you're in Canada or America or, or, or whatever, you're not in Israel under a theocracy, okay? Chances are your country's run by the Vatican, by the Pope, by the the occult trillionaire, the Black Pope, and his henchmen, the White Pope. Chances are, very good chances. You know, I'm from Canada. I was actually, I'm actually from Russia, but I, I you know, dwell in Canada. I, I reside in Canada. And our Prime Minister, as well as the Russian President, too, he's in bed with the Pope and with the Vatican and with the you know, occultism that comes along with, with the Pope, with the papal reign. Because the Pope and, and his henchmen, they were the high-level sorcerers during the Dark Ages. That's why I call him the the king of the occult, trillionaire, the Black Pope. Because he's a trillionaire and he's the king of the occult and his henchmen, the White Pope. Whole other issue. But I'm not advocating for a theocracy, okay? This was a law given to Israel. But it did is for, you know, instruction in righteousness, according to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 15 to 17. You know, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Under the Old Testament law, witches got the death penalty. And you'll see other examples in scripture of witchcraft being tied in with child sacrifice. Which is what goes on on Halloween too. Uh, 2 Kings chapter 21 verse 6. And he made his son... He made his son pass through the fire and observe times and use enchantments and dealt with familiar spirits and wizards. He wrought much wickedness in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. 
So you see that witchcraft, you know, observing times enchantments and dealing with familiar spirits goes hand in hand with child sacrifice, causing your son to pass through the fire. Witchcraft is child sacrifice. It goes hand in hand with sacrificing children, which is what abortion is too, by the way, which is why so many witches and Wiccans support abortion because it's part of, it's part of how they worship their God. And also how the Vatican does it too, because again, witchcraft all goes back to the Vatican. You know, the Vatican, again, they were the high-level sorcerers during the Dark Ages. The Jesuits and the Black Pope and his henchmen, the White Pope. Second Kings, chapter 17, verse 17. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire and use divination and enchantments and sold, and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. So we see, again, witchcraft and passing, causing a son to pass through the fire, child sacrifice, goes hand in hand, using enchantments and divination. It all goes hand in hand. Second Chronicles chapter 33, verse 6. And he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Also, he observed times and used enchantments and used witchcraft and dealt with a familiar spirit and with wizards. He wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. You're celebrating Halloween, you're going to provoke God to anger. Plain and simple. Now, obviously, the word Halloween doesn't appear in this verse, but he's using witchcraft, observing times and enchantments and dealing with familiar spirits. All that goes on in Halloween. But again, we see causing his children to pass the fire and he uses witchcraft. It all goes hand in hand. Halloween is a satanic high holy day that no Bible believing Christian ought to have anything to do with. It's a celebration of witchcraft and Satanism. You know, Satan doesn't care, you know, what when you worship him. You know, you can worship God every day of the year and then give one day of the year Halloween to Satan without even, you know, realizing it. And as long as you do that, Satan's happy. He doesn't care how you worship him or when you worship him, just as long as you're not worshiping God, he's happy. And Halloween is you're worshiping Satan. You may not think you're doing it, but you're doing it. You're celebrating, you're observing his high holy day. You know, Halloween is no business for any Christians. So just wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.